everyone, it's Grabmaster Hack, and I'm going to do a review of all the Linux distros that came out since January to July. Basically, giving you guys all the answers to the questions you guys have been PMing me about. The first one we want to look at is what I'm running right now. Take a look at Ubuntu right here. Ubuntu, and probably in my opinion, it's probably the best one to run all around. Because I've been getting questions about which one should I run on Mac, which one should I run on Windows, just all around. So, I recommend Ubuntu for this cause because one, you can install it through Windows and still keep your Windows partition without bo uh, dual booting or messing with your partition manager and all that. It'll work like a program inside of Windows, except you just choose it at the beginning of when you boot up. And also, the next one I'd recommend after that is Linux Mint, but I recommend that to previous using Linux owners or those who don't have a connection to a internet or Wi-Fi um, during installation because one, for Ubuntu, if you want to have an installation that just works right out the box, I recommend you either connect it to Wi-Fi or if you have a proprietary driver, you just connect it to your internet port. That's enough of that right now. And basically, what I've been working on after that is Mate, uh, Linux Mint 13's Mate, uh, their KDE edition, their Cinnamon edition, and that would be my next recommendation, except I'd recommend the XFCE version. In my opinion, the Mate version is just not, it's just not there yet. Uh, for the laptops, my laptop experience with it, it's been noticeably noticeably slower than Ubuntu. The boot up time for that is notably slower on laptops compared to the desktop or or Ubuntu on the laptop. So I've tried it on my computer right here and my laptop right here. So I've tried all this out on hardware and on virtual machines. So now I'll actually give you a look at Mate and let you see what I'm talking about. So we're turning on the PC here. We're gonna see how Mate boot boots up. I have it to automatically log in. So, but my main complaint about it is, it is yes slower than Ubuntu. And on top of that, uh, when you first load up the menus, it's just so, so slow. Like it, it will take a while. But other than that, I recommend the XFCE. The only reason why I, I haven't wiped it yet and installed an XFCE is because I have to back up this computer since this computer is the backup. So I got to back up the backup. And then on top of that, XFCE edition just came out, what, a few days ago? So yeah, that's my only complaint about that. You see, this is the boot up time, but Ubuntu would have been <laughs> logged in by now. Uh, I don't know if I can show you, but at the bottom right, as you see, the menu hasn't even loaded in yet, and that's instantaneous on the other ones. And it'll take a while sometimes, and even longer on the laptop. Uh, when using it, I kind of find some of the menus a bit laggy, so... That's my only dis. Uh, I can't recommend mid edition because it's it's slow, it's laggy. As you see, my playthrough that was the uh, I was playing that game on mate on the mid edition, and it, it was just slow and laggy. That the lag was coming from it wasn't even my recording it wasn't with the Ethernet. It was the actual desktop environment just just <laughs> just being laggy because I tried it on my Ubuntu thing, my Ubuntu laptop, and it worked just fine. And it's it's just a laptop in my opinion. Oh, not in my opinion, it's factually the laptop. <laughs> so, I will be installing XFC Edition later. I, and I just basically recommend Ubuntu 1204, the LTS release, for, for as a main distro. For those who want to use it on your Mac, <laughs> your main computer, anything, Ubuntu would be the best one. Uh, if you, yeah, basically the best one. If you have any specific questions or uh, topics you want me to talk about, please comment to me. Uh, I will post my Google Plus account in the comment section uh, in the video description so you guys can contact me. Uh, also, I want to touch on one thing about the new version of Zorin OS. I did try that out. And I know a lot of my subscribers are Zorin OS users. And that's like my main video it has like 14K off that. So I know a lot of people watch that. So one, my recommendation for that is not to go towards that because some of the features of the OS are missing, like 
pinned taskbar and some of the like window previews don't really work well and they'll come up as glitched up boxes so that's why if you want a true window experience it's it's not there yet it's buggy so i'd wait to the next version of that to try that out and i will always guys review that for you guys i have no issue doing that if you have any other distro you guys want me to review or try out i will do so uh thank you guys for watching and i'll talk to you guys later